All right, I'm going to do a let's play. Um, we have just reached the uh, beginning of the transfer period. I'll kind of show you their, our fixture list since our last game. We had one of our best games of the season away at Empoli, so that was really positive. And then I was really hoping to follow it up with a win against Roma um, in our home game, uh, but we ended up losing. The good news is we, we won a really big shootout game. Uh, five to four against Sampdoria, and Sam Sampdoria was actually third in the league at that point. Anyway, so we've got some big games coming up here still. Uh, AC Milan and Juventus, uh, both home games. Um, AC Milan is currently in third. Um, let's see where we are in the league table. We're at sixth in the league table, um, but we've got a game in hand over the teams in front of us, but we're a game behind Milan, so... It's looking like Milan will probably stay relatively high regardless of what happens. Even if we beat them, we'll only be tied with them in points. But if we do beat them, we'll be closer to Juventus and Inter Milan as well. Um, anyway, so with that being said, I'll go ahead and cover some of um, what's been going on with the transfer window. Um, I accepted a transfer, I believe, for Allen. Um, I rejected an earlier transfer offer from um, Arsenal for a $15.5 million fee um, and I it made him I, I wanted to keep him on the team in general um, but he got really unsettled at the club um, based on that Arsenal transfer offer and he basically begged to leave and told me he wasn't going to play um, so I went ahead and accepted my next offer, um, which is only for a $12.5 million initial fee, but we get another $12.5 million over the next 12 months, and then another $4.6 million after uh, 10 league appearances, which is pretty quick. Um, we had a, a transfer offer come in for Jorginho, but it, it was um, only $8.5 million up front or something. And there was a bunch of escalations, but it wasn't a great offer. I didn't think... Oh, no, 21 initial fee, but um, Jorginho is worth at least $33 million, So I, I'm not going to be selling both of my midfielders in the same transfer window. Um, Kayubi, um, I rejected two offers for him. Um, he's a very good player, so I'm going to want a lot more than... If if I get something like fifty to sixty million offered for him, then I'll probably have to take it. But um, yeah, and then Zapata, the offer for Zapata was a free um, at the end of his contract, which I have got no control over because I'm not going to sign him again. Um, and the reason I'm not going to sign him again, uh, he just doesn't have a lot of potential. Like he's pretty much maxed out. He's he's a two and a half star player, but that's all he'll ever be. So I. And since he's on loan right now, anyway, I don't want to... And his, his contract demands were, were pretty high. So anyway, so uh, I went ahead and made an offer on Kuma Abubakar. Um, $8 million initial fee, 12.75. Um, I think he, total. Um, he's valued at about 11.5, so I didn't have to overpay for him at all. And as you can see, his... Um, his all-around stats are, are he's a very well-rounded complete forward basically and uh, that's helpful um, so he doesn't have anything bad at all his finishing's 14 not too I would like a little higher finishing but you know all the rest of his stats uh, his strength his stamina all that stuff is, you know everything is basically 13 plus so he's a super super well-rounded player who doesn't excel in, in any one area but his potential is, is very, very good. Um, his potential ability is five stars, so uh, he's he should continue to get better as well. So immediately he'll give me a third choice at the striker position, which I really needed, and um, should grow into a player who is going to be my best striker um, by next season. Um, his only downside is he's not good at crossing and he can only play one position, but I only need him to play one position. So I'll also be looking for a uh, midfielder coming up soon, but for right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Diwara. 
Um, I might switch to a more uh, ball-winning midfielder type role for him since that's kind of more what he is. Um, the good news is I've still got um, Kaduri, who's basically a two and a half, three star. He he's more of a sub for Jorginho. Um, I don't I don't have a really great like another wrecker center mid, um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be looking for to replace Allen, because um, Allen was also kind of in that ball winning mode. So I've got Diwara who's in the ball winning mode. Um, Kaduri, who's more of a playmaker, and then um, who else do I have here? I can't. Oh, Peter Zielinski. Uh, Peter Zielinski is also more of a uh, playmaker than a ball-winning midfielder type. So I'll have three playmakers, um, and I I need to add another uh, like a defensive defensive midfielder uh, to complement Diwara. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw Murdens in. Winger support, and I'm going to change and send you to an attacking winger. We're going to go ahead with a, and roll with a standard structured team shape here. Um, we're going to, we are going to look f for working the ball into the box, um, and we're going to have the team be a little more disciplined. We're going to try to uh, not concede right away against Milan. So that's the that's the team I'm going to submit. Um, I'm actually going to swap these two, and I'm going to play Albiol. There you go. Okay, that's the team I want to submit right there. Warming everybody up here. All right, so AC Milan is a slight favorite against us, um, but you know, I'm not sure. Hopefully, we can pull a draw out of this, maybe at least. We played really well the last match, so hopefully they can go ahead and do that. So let's make sure we're on extended highlights. I'm going to go ahead and try out the um, uh, data analysis view instead of the 2D and see if you guys like this better. Um, I'll look for some comments. If you guys like the 3D match engine better, I can, I can go ahead and, and use the 3D match engine for um, when I'm recording videos. I typically prefer the 2D for reasons I've mentioned, but I know it's not always uh, the most intriguing for people to watch. Ooh, Milkman uh, had a chance to put a shot on target there and didn't. Looks like we might get hit on a counter here. Cut it out. Good job. Ooh, and hits Mertens on a counter. Let's see if Mertens can do anything here. Nice job, Mertens. Cross it in. Milkman couldn't get on the end of the cross. Hysage crosses in. Jorginho with a shot, but it was deflected. Deflected out for a corner. Got some good attacking movement so far. We cut out the uh, only counterattack they've had. Working it back into the box. Mertens. Oh, Mertens. How do you miss that, buddy? <sighs> it was there. That's why he's a winger. Milkman's got it. Holds it up for Diwara. Diwara charges ahead. Diwara going to do it all his own until he... Sides to dump it off to Mertens. I wish Diwara would have just continued um, going coast to coast with it. He's going to be a really nice player. Um, he picked up a player preferred trait to run with the ball more and knock the ball past opponents. Um, let's see if I can make changes here. Yeah, go ahead and add in whipped crosses. Anyway, he's uh, so he's going to be like a a box-to-box -box midfielder that just charges forward with the ball. It's going to be kind of an interesting complementary play um, 
with Jorginho, and I'm I, I'm actually training Diwara into the plays one twos player preferred move now that he's got um, the two that are geared towards just running forward with the ball. Oh, nice! Almost almost got him into that. Um, so he should be a really formidable offensive uh, midfielder coming from deep. Good movement here. Get it out to Hysage. Nice movement. Milkman's got it. Oh, Milkman finishes. Nice. Good to get an early goal. And, and we're really looking good is the key part here. Homfist plays it in Insignia. Insignia plays Milkman through. And Milkman, with his left foot, uh, hits it across the keeper who probably should have done better there. Alright, so we'll close down on Abate. We're completing 80% uh, of our passes. We've got a little bit of an edge in possession, but we, we're way up on them in shots, which is nice. Although we'll see if that holds here. Oh, no! Oh, Reina with the save. Nice save. Um, that was a clear-cut chance for AC Milan. They um, definitely moved the ball straight past my defense there. Alright, let's clear it out of here. Oh, good lord. Albiol almost with a terrible mistake. Fortunately, Rainia's made two wonderful saves so far. Um, on their two main chances there. Alright, so we made it to halftime. Still up one nothing. Okay, let's go do this for the fans, boys. Let's see if anybody's struggling or needing off right now. I don't think I'm going to make any subs right now. I have no yellow cards. Um, everybody's still in good fitness. Um, I might take Jorginho off in the second half uh, with Kaduri, maybe. And uh, once he gets tired. But we'll see. Not the best way to start off the half, giving up an immediate attack, but... I'm not quite ready to switch to a more defensive tempo quite yet. Oh. But now that they've got more shots, maybe I will. Let's go ahead and, and go to our, our slightly more defensive tactic and try to hold the ball a little more. Let me check my instructions. Be more disciplined. Retain possession. Um, normal tempo. Work the ball into the box. And we're going to stick to our positions. Okay. No, I don't want to put in more crosses. I got rid of the cross instruction because we weren't doing well. Okay. Let's get it out of there. Alright, now let's move the ball forward. Nice switch of the field. Get it forward to Insigne. Insigne, you could just run up the line, you dummy, but he likes to cut it in. Gets it into Homsik, who uh, could have done a better job with that. I don't know why Homsik shot from there, but oh well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my tactics now. It says that we got too much space, so... I'm going to go ahead and move Diwara back to a uh, ball-winning midfielder. Play him in support there. Um, it's going to give us a little bit of a staggered look, which I haven't done much, but um, he's capable of doing it. And hopefully that will shore up the gap between our midfield and our defense. Man, I wish we'd have just held possession there like I have my team told to do instead of trying to wolf it across the field. 
Oh, come on. Close him down. The 40-yard diagonal through ball from a center back is not my preferred way to attack. Nice. Get up to Milkman. Milkman with a through ball, though. Merton's got stuffed, gives the ball away, and we give up an immediate counterattack, which oh, was kind of frustrating. Now they've got a corner cleared by Kyubi. I'm going to actually go to defensive mentality. more players behind the ball. Let's see if we can just get them to sh have to shoot from range. That was not a good move. Alright. Um, I'm going to go back to our normal 4-2-3-1 formation. Now that it's a draw. See if we can get another goal here. Uh, just multitudes of errors there by the team letting them through but let's go ahead and see if we can make a substitution here um, let's see Um, everybody's actually playing fairly well. I'm going to sub off Jorginho because he's looking nervous. Um, I'm going to give him a pep talk. We're going to go ahead and say... Uh, Yeah, good. I gave him a positive mood. And I'm also going to go ahead and throw a pep talk out right now. Touchline talk. I'm going to be calm about it, but I'm going to demand more from my players. I'm going to have them show some passion here. Nice movement. Working the ball up to Milkman. Got a lot of players all, all on their lonesome up here, though. Diwara's pushing forward. Merton's cutting in. Homsick. Kicked it out to Hysage, who can cross it into Milkman. Who Come on, Milkman. Do something with it. Oh! Milkman. Oh, that was brutal. Insignia whips it into the box for a free kick. And we got the... That's my... That's my specialty right there. Um, free kick, flick, and then a header in. Um, now we're going to go ahead and, and, and hit back to our defensive formation. Good looking play from Albiol. But he, he might even be my second leading goal scorer, scorer this season. Diwara flicks it on to Albiol. Albiol into the net. What a great score there. Um, let's take a look at our, our tactics right now. Make sure, yeah, that's what I want. Anybody else tired? Needing a sub? Kyubi could use a sub, but he's he's by far and away my best defender. So, um, don't really want to give him... Maybe Fozzie Gulam, actually. I'll sub on Strinic for Fozzie Gulam. Um... Yeah. Confirm sub. Yep. Not before Gulam gets his long throw into the box, though. Mertens takes a crack at it. Mertens gets the ball back. Let's see what he can do. Oh. Abate fouls him. 
Alright, come on team. About five minutes left to see if we can pull a win out here. I'm going to see if we can... Um, Go to contain. Time wasting whenever possible. And we're going to play even safer. Hopefully we can stall our way to a victory here. As they put the pressure on. Nice cut out. Hold the ball up, Milkman. Hold it up. Damn it, Milkman. Clear clear further. All the way out, Insigne. Not just out to them. There you go. Now run up the line with it. Hit him on the counter. Oh! <laughs> what good movement on the counter. Murden's with a goal set up by Hamsick. Boy, this is a fun game. Went from pucker time to a nice overlap run. And Murdens gets his... Might be his first goal of the season for Murdens. I might have to play him a little more often. Callihan has not played well in the last month or so. So, Diwara, I, I really like Diwara as that ball-winning midfielder. And he's got some... Decent. Oh, might pour another one on here. Oh, Milkman can't finish it. I was hoping to add a little insult from injury, but Milkman got one goal, but boy did he miss a, a, a chance. Had the ball inside within probably three yards of the goal. Trapped it, touched it twice, and didn't shoot. <laughs> This kind of situation makes me almost wish we played more direct soccer with Milkman up there because he has done a pretty good job of, of knocking the ball down and holding it up generally. All right, 3-1. to one. Nice victory. Um, I'm going to yell very, very passionately to the team here. That was a great job, team. Our morale is back to very good. Uh, what a great win. I was hoping that we would get some points out of the next two matches. Um, getting three points out takes a lot of the pressure off. I was hoping for at least two draws, at least two points or one win. Um, so getting three points out already um, makes me very, very happy. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and look at the player ratings. Um, Milkman had a 7.9 rating with that goal. Um, Insigne got an assist, but it was off that free kick, so it probably didn't help him that much. Homfist with an assist. Uh, Mertens with a goal. Uh, Diwara with an assist. Uh, and I thought Diwara played pretty darn well generally. Um, Raul Abial with a goal. Very good game. And I, I thought these three defenders played really well as well. Um, Kayubi especially. I saw him cut out several attacks. And, and Haisaj... Uh, I'm not going to fault him for the goal, but, you know, he he could have done better to keep his player from crossing the ball in. Um, he was a little far forward, so I think he struggled to come back um, to get to the ball. Um, El Kaduri was the only one with a negative side. Uh, Mertens was the player of the match. Um, generally, it was a pretty even game, I think. You know, we had uh, tied on shots on target. Um, I feel like we were we were leading in shots pretty well through the game until they started pouring on the pressure in the end. Um, but I felt like we controlled the game pretty well. Played well with the lead there, I think, in general. So Here's the heat map. Um, as you can see, uh, they had a ball on our third of the field quite a bit. Um, that was mostly kind of from the end of the game. Um, this, to me, looks like... Uh, Diwara's influence here. Um, let's 
go ahead and look at passes. See who had some key passes. Homsik had two key passes. Milkman had four key passes. That's pretty solid. Kaduri had one. Um, here were the three assists that came from the run of play. Um, let's see crosses. Insigne had two com completed crosses. He's getting a lot of credit for the corners. We didn't we didn't complete that many crosses. I, I that's where I like having the overlap instructions on because I only had one clock cross completed by my left back, um, or my right back and zero by my left backs. So I'll might try to get them forward a little bit more next game. Aerial challenges. Kayubi had five key headers. Um, tackles. No key tackles that game, but um, Diwara had three tackles one. Fourteen receptions for Kayubi. He's just so good at that. Diwara with nine interceptions. Let's take a, a check of our mistakes here. Um, Diwara with one mistake. Albiol had uh, three. Albiol didn't play that well. Humphis lost the ball three times. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what... Diwara's player weight rating wasn't all that great, but he played really well, I thought. He had a ton of interceptions. A lot of tackles. He was he played really well in the ball winning midfielder role. I'll have to play him in that more often. Anyway, moving forward. Um go ahead and send our assistant here. And we're gonna praise Murdens. I think that's might be his first goal of the season. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a good victory. Um, let's see where we are on the table right now. Uh, we're up to third in the table, although we've played... Well, AC Milan's played one less game, and Juventus has played one less game. So we're not really third. I would actually put us at fourth in the table, um, given that these two have a, a game in hand over us. But we are within three points of the lead, regardless. So three points of the lead at this point in the season I'm pretty happy with um, and you know there's a fairly decent drop off after us um, well between that eight, about 8th place it drops they're, they're more than 6 points behind us so that's pretty good hope you guys enjoyed the video